The Darwin Protocol. Fade in. Exterior. New York. Dusk. The sun dips over the Manhattan skyline. City lights begin to brighten. Traffic builds. A jogger, 30s, wearing a dark hoodie and sweatpants, pounds the sidewalk as he crosses the Brooklyn Bridge into Lower Manhattan, continues on his way, eyes focused on the street ahead. Exterior, New York, rundown housing area, dusk. Police sirens echo in a derelict area. Nadia Petrov, late teens and very pregnant, hurries through a dimly lit alley, her rapid breathing increasing in volume. Nadia stops at a corner, glances about. Terrified eyes scope out the distance to a main road. Exterior, New York Street, dusk. The jogger picks up the pace, strong legs propelling him forward, eyes focused on the setting sun. Exterior, rundown housing area, dusk. Nadia shuffles across open ground. A black 4x4 pulls up 20 feet from her. Two thugs jump out. Nadia's eyes go wide in horror. She runs in the opposite direction. The thugs grin at her effort, follow after her. Nadia runs on, but the thugs quickly catch up to her. Both circle her now, as she protectively holds her stomach. One thug, sporting a large scar above his eye, leans in close, kisses her on the lips, smiles, speaks with a thick Russian accent. Nadja, Nadja, how long did you think this could go on? He gently places his hand on her pregnant belly, Nadja steps back, her whole body trembling. Please, I can't. I can't do it. It's not right. The smaller thug positions himself behind her. Scar thug smiles, slaps her hard across the face. Nadja holds her face with her hand. He punches her in the face, knocking her to the ground. Nadja blinks as she tries to remain conscious. Little thug grabs her by the hair, leans in. We told you to get rid of it. A terrified Nadja looks from one thug to the other. Please, please, no! Scar thug squats beside her. You get rid of it, or do we have to do it for you? A tearful Nadja shakes her head. No, no, please! Little thug pulls her up by the hair. Nadja bites his hand. He lets go. She runs, falls over, cries out. Help! Help! Please help me! Little thug rushes up to her, slaps her across the face grabs her arms, dragging her along the ground. Nadia screams. Exterior, New York, derelict area, dusk. The jogger slows, stops, removes his hood, fully exposing his face for the first time. Blonde hair frames his Nordic good looks. Ice blue eyes focus on a nearby embankment. He listens intently, hustles down the embankment. Exterior, rundown housing area, dusk. Nadia lies on the ground, arms wrapped around her stomach. Little Thug stands over her, laughs at her discomfort. He is joined by Scar Thug, who places his foot on her stomach. (laughs) Please, please, not my baby. Don't kill my baby. We paid you money for abortion, bitch. Sergei is not happy. Grab her hands. Little Thug grabs her by the wrists, pinning them behind her head. Nadia begs. No, no, please. Now we take it out of you. Nadja pleads frantically. No, no, I'll pay him back. Don't, don't kill my baby, please. Please, no. Scar Thug spits on her. You don't even know who father is, whore. He stands back to kick her. A voice high above stops him. Hey, assholes, you leave her be. Both thugs look up to spot the jogger on a footbridge about 30 feet above them. Scar Thug shouts up at him. Fuck off, asshole. He pulls back his jacket, exposing a gun in his belt. In one motion, the jogger leaps over the small rail, lands on his feet below. Both thugs exchange bemused glances. The jogger walks towards them. Now, that's not very nice. You kissed your whore mother with that filthy mouth, Boris? Scar Thug pulls his gun, but the jogger is way faster, covering the ground between them in a second, disarming Scar Thug, striking him hard on the chest, sending him to the ground, convulsing, The jogger now stands with Scar Thug's gun pressed against Little Thug's forehead, finger on the trigger. Little Thug stands dead still, eyes fixed on Scar Thug, who gasps in agony on the ground. You see, this is what happens when you're nasty. Just so you know, I've stopped his heart. Well, it's in fibrillation, technically. 
Nadia struggles to sit upright. Little Thug watches her. But pretty soon the blood supply to his brain will cease. Wham! The jogger hits Little Thug in the chest, dropping him to the ground, coughing and clutching his chest. He tries to speak, but just gasps in agony. The jogger stands over him, smiling. Oh yes, that's right. I've stopped your heart too. Maybe I'll start it again. If you promise to behave. Let's ask the nice lady, shall we? Nadia struggles to her feet, staggers forward, plants an unmerciful kick right between Little Thug's legs. Little Thug's <laughs> eyes roll in his head as he grips his chest. Guess that's a no, then. Nadia wobbles on her feet, falls forward. The jogger catches her easily. Little Thug continues to gasp. The jogger sweeps Nadia off her feet. She wraps her arms around his neck, her head buried in his chest. The jogger smiles at her affectionately as he carries her away from the thugs, who continue to clutch their chests. Two NYPD police cars, sirens blaring, pull up. 